All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video. So today we're back in Tableau, we're gonna talk about uh, our dashboard that we've been building. And, and this is part four, right? A little bonus material here. So you can see, um, if we take a look, again, I'll, I'll play this again. You can see what's going on down here. We have our countries moving, right? As the number of confirmed cases or deaths uh, rise. So. Um, this was a, a neat little uh, addition uh, I wanted to add. I've seen uh, a couple of people uh, make this addition. I wanted to figure out how to do it for myself and then and then share it with you. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to build out, right? We're going to build out our top 10 countries with confirmed cases. I'll show you how to, uh, to make uh, this uh, bar chart race, as we call it. And um, uh, once we have this built out, uh, all, we'll, all we'll do is duplicate this uh, and, and change a couple things, and it'll be the uh, the deaths, top 10 countries with uh, with loss of uh, life here. So uh, let me do this. This was this was bothering me a little bit. Let's center that. Okay. So uh, before we get into this, let me say, uh, you know, you you've made this uh, this series a big success, and I'm very thankful. Uh, I see a lot of people uh, taking the blueprints, taking the steps here and building out this dashboard and putting it on LinkedIn and Twitter, and that's great. Um, but some of you are not given the credit, not given the shout out, you know, to, to Anthony Smoke, and uh, you should do that, right? Because uh, when I put these out here, uh, I get a lot of traction, you know, a lot of eyeballs on, on some of the things that, that I do, so people will know that this is something that I have created. This is a lesson that I'm offering. And so when you take the steps and build it out yourself without giving the credit, people will know, they'll scratch their head and say, mm, you know, that's a little disingenuous. So uh, let's help each other out, right? If you're going to build this step by step, you know, take my steps and, and build out the exact dashboard or change colors or something, just give a little shout out. That's all I ask if you're going to do that on LinkedIn. And, and most of you are. No problem there, but some of you aren't. I know who you are. I see you because I scroll through the uh, uh, the Tableau dashboards on uh, on LinkedIn there. So uh, keep up the good work uh, for all of you that are doing that. So let's get into building out um, this top 10 countries with confirmed cases. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into uh, another Tableau here. Uh, but before that, though, the whole reason why that... I only show 10 here. I just hate showing scroll bars, right? So that's why I only show 10 here. That's why I went through this whole process of trying to limit it to 10 and only showing the top 10 countries on the last day. I just didn't want to show a scroll bar. It just uh, ruins the aesthetic for me. So uh, that's why I like just, just showing the top 10. Just wanted to, to tell you that. And so let's go over here to uh, another version that I have. Same version, essentially, just a copy. And so um, this this does not have the, uh, the bar chart race. So we're going to build out the bar chart uh, race here. Uh, what we need to do first, and again, a number of people have recommended uh, using this function in the comments. I mean, you guys are brilliant commenters. Like I say, I learn from you. Uh, hopefully, you learn from, from me as well. So we're going to create a calculated field, right? And we're going to name this, let's call it rank confirmed cases. And we're going to use a function called rank unique, right? And we want the rank unique of our cases, right? Let's do that. And so rank unique is going to help us return um, uh, the unique rank for the current row, essentially. That's where we're going to, oh, this says errors. I'm just missing a parentheses. There we go, right? That's going to help us return the unique rank um, for each country based upon their, their sum of cases. So we'll say okay. We'll do a rank confirmed cases there. And actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. Rank confirmed cases. That's good. And so on here, what I want to do is I want to drag um, our sum of cases, right? This is our cases. Let's drag that to columns, right? Let's take our country and region and, and drag that to rows. Let's add all members. 
And um, let's go ahead and let's put the country region in the detail here so we have that uh, available for us. And of course, our rank confirmed cases. Let's bring that to uh, to rows over here. Yeah, it's gonna, everything's going to go uh, a little bit haywire. Uh, actually, we don't need the country region. Let's just, let's just take that out uh, for now. Um, let's go uh, on the on our rank confirmed here. We're going to go down here. We want to compute this by our country or region, right? Um, and we can do that because it's here in the detail, and that's great. And so, what are you looking at here, right? And you're saying, what is this? All it is is we have the rank. And unfortunately, the U.S. is here by itself, um, right? The U.S. has a rank of one, right? So one is low here on the on the y-axis, but the number of cases here on the x-axis uh, pushes it all the way out. Again, we're not going to keep this view. I'm just showing you what we're looking at. All of the low-ranked countries are are high uh, up here, and so in order to um, uh, to make this look a little bit uh, more bar chart style here. We want to make this discrete instead of continuous, and we have our bar chart action. So now uh, what we need to do is just uh, how we've done this before in the past. Let's bring in our, our date here and put that on pages, right? And we want to make sure that this is the exact date, right? And um, uh, we want to here, let's drag this out. And so in this version that I'm working with, I am working with... Um, uh, updated data set uh, uh, in my previous lessons I only had through April 7th I just went ahead and updated the CSV refreshed the CSV uh, downloaded a whole new CSV um, some of the files some of the uh, columns have changed so I had to delete some and then and then um, I think I may have had to rename uh, one or two but anyway uh, when I hit the refresh after doing that I was able to just uh, preserve my my dashboard uh, and have uh, updated information right through June 4th so anyway uh, once we've done that right so we have we have our 6 4 2020 that's the max date as of uh, today uh, what I want to do now is we need we need to start filtering this right so all we do is uh, just like we've done before let's take our our case type and let's make this confirmed apply that okay and then let's um, Let's take this right here. Let's take our, uh, I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to drag this over here to the filters, right? Our ranking. And so I only want the top 10. So I'm going to say none and then I'm just going to select the top 10 here. 8, 9, 10. Say apply. Okay. And then we can go entire view here. That gives me my, my 10 countries. And then from, from a label standpoint, let's add the, uh, the country and region onto the label right and then uh, let's add the sum of cases also to the label all right so you can leave it in this uh, in this format if you want but what I'm going to suggest is that we go in here to label and let's make the alignment uh, this horizontal alignment left and you see we get uh, that effect right there and then I can go into the text and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back this up, put a little dash in between. Let's go apply, and we get something like this, right? Um, so let's make sure, um, go in here to the label. Let's go to the font. Make sure that font is white. So everyone, okay, so there we go. We get an effect uh, like that. And so um, what you can do, this is also interesting. Um, let me show you this real quick. So if I go up here to format um, and animations, there should be, there we go, animation. So this is new for uh, Tableau 2020.1.2. Uh, At least that's the version that I'm using. You'll have like an, uh, an animations uh, option here. So for the workbook, I don't want everything turned on uh, off, but for this selected sheet, I could say turn the animations on. Now, I'm not going to keep it this way. I just wanted to show you. So you can play simultaneous or uh, se sequential. Simultaneous is the default. So if I were to take this back, you know, let's let's rewind it all the way, and let's make it go a little slower. Um, we should see. All right, that's that's kind of slow. Let's speed it up here. We will see. <laughs> well, this will show up better once I have. Uh, 
uh, the background, but I just wanted to, to show you. Once I have the background gray, we should be able to see uh, the names of things. But you see it's going way too fast here, but you can see this kind of animation effect <laughs> taking a place. Um, whether we want that or not, you know, I, I'll leave that up to you, but this will be better once. I'm going to turn it off, but let's just go back in here. I'm going to go to Format, and let's change the the worksheet shading here. Right, we have something like that. Let's go in the lines here, grid lines, none, columns. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. That shuts that off. Um, I can actually uncheck this. Hide that field label. I don't need to see the uh, the ranking. We can get rid of that down here at the bottom. I don't need to see this here. We can get rid of that uh, as well. Um, I don't. Well, we'll we'll leave this uh, for now. I could get rid of this line. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here uh, for this. Let's make sure we get the right color in here. I believe that is the color I am using. Uh, we can take a look. 6380F2. That's what I like, right? We're going to leave it uh, at that uh, for the border. Let's make the border black just to make it, uh, uh, make it pop a little bit. And so now if I were to do this, just again, again, the animations are on. This is something you don't have to leave on. Just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like. We can at least see the country names uh, right now, whereas we couldn't see them before uh, when, when the background uh, was all white. Um, but if I were to speed this up, All right, come on. There we go. So far to speed this up, you see, you know, the animation, again, it's it's a cool effect, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to keep it on. I just wanted to show you <laughs> that that animation option was there, right? So let's go ahead and turn this, uh, turn this off. Um, go back to the, uh, to the worksheet here. Um, oops, sorry. It's a format uh, animations. And let's go ahead and turn the turn this off. Just wanted to show you that, right? All right, so we have something like like this into the tooltip. Yeah, let's do this real quick. Let's get rid of this. And you already have this created. That we already created this in the. I believe we created this in the second uh, video, right? So if I go in here to sheets, we want our confirmed cases of provinces. I'm gonna put that there. So now when I go to U.S., I can see uh, what the different provinces uh, are doing. Right, so we have this this sheet now. All we have to do now is throw this onto uh, our dashboard. But we're, we're, what we're going to do first, and actually I'm going to hide this. Let's go ahead and hide the title. What I'm going to do first is let's copy this. Let's make another version for deaths. So I can call this um, confirmed cases bar. Um, uh, what are we going to call this rank unique something to that effect right so we know it's 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 a little bit different than uh, than what we had uh, before so we'll make the color here we'll make that color blue and I'm just going to move that uh, down here to the to the blue section so what I'll do is let's duplicate this because we need one for our deaths I'm just going to make the color purple right and bring this down here and let's make uh, the color our, our purple color here. Let's just show you that's 715 AFF. I believe that's the, uh, the purple uh, that we've been using. Yeah, I believe that's the purple. It's not this darker one. So we'll, we'll go with that. Um, now we need to change this, change our filter. And let's uh, I go to edit filter. Let's make that deaths instead of confirm. Uh, say OK. The numbers change, uh, as you can see. And I don't think that there is anything else to do here. We duplicated it. Um, you know, we, we have the, uh, we changed the filter to deaths. Yeah, I don't think it's, as, it's that simple. Oh, yeah, we want to put in here, um, let's change the tooltip. All right, so let's take out the one that breaks down province, uh, breaks down confirmed cases by province, and let's put in um our confirmed deaths by provinces say okay and so now uh, we can see where most of our, our deaths occur uh, within a specific province uh, you know for us and wherever else there there is data okay so now that we have these two pieces and let's call this confirm set of cases this is deaths and let's get rid of that too 
All right, so we have that, right? We have it formatted. So all we have to do now at this point is place items onto the dashboard. So let's go over here to the dashboard. And as you'll recall, we have a nice layout here. So our main layout, you know, we have some some items that that are floating here. This is our uh, our confirmed cases uh, where we do the uh, the chart swapping. So that's what these two horizontals are right here because they're floating on top. Uh, we have our line, but the main um, area here is this vertical, and you'll see how nicely it looks with the three horizon horizontals in here. And our first horizontal is this top right here that contains the image and our title, right? Our middle horizontal uh, contains our map and two verticals, which contain, right? Each vertical contains uh, items in and of themselves, four, four things right here. It's very nice and easy to read. I'll walk you through that in the last video, in the third video, right? So go back and if you need that refresher, uh, take a look and see how we get things aligned this nicely and very easy to read within our vertical. So what we're gonna do, so we're going to get rid of our legacy um, uh, bar chart with, that doesn't have the, uh, the bar chart racing uh, effect, so to speak. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. You'll see it still uh, conserves the space for us. That's great. So now let's go to our dashboard and we want to find rank unique, confirm cases bar, rank unique. And of course, we love when we see that line because we know we're putting it right in there. And then I'm going to hide the title. And there, there we go. We've inserted that in there. We're going to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead, get rid of that. And then we're going to find our confirm deaths bar, rank unique. Put that in here. We love our line. Let's us know where it's gonna be dropped. Let's go ahead and hide the title. And there we go. So let's make sure everything is in sync, right? It looks like it is in sync, right? Bye, bye, bye. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and see if everything uh, looks okay when we move through here. So we are getting that effect, right? Things are moving. Right, top 10 countries with confirmed cases. We can see China starts out uh, with cases and uh, loss of life here. And if I were to speed things up, you'll see start things start moving a lot quicker. So I like this effect. You know, again, um, in the, in the previous videos, we showed you how to keep static those top 10 on the last day of the data. Uh, within the set, but this is a way to show movement of the countries within our data set. So, uh, you know, this nice little bar chart uh, race effect. Now, again, I've turned off the animations because it may make it, it may, it may be a little too much to process, but, you know, as you can see, um, this is the effect. So, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Again, bar chart racing, just giving you a little bonus uh, uh, material here if, if you want to uh, edit the dashboard. Again, if you want to make the changes, again, I, I encourage you to put it on LinkedIn. Just give the shout out back to Anthony Smoke so people know that uh, you are uh, uh, crediting the right people. So, again, this is Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.